let's do this. Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Gaming What's and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to go ahead and talk about Modern Warfare and share some good news with you guys, because if you already don't know, the Infinity Ward multiplayer director went ahead and shared around sometime yesterday on his Twitter that when it comes down to a game such as Modern Warfare, their focus from day one is to make the game as fun as possible. Now, when it comes down to that statement, you guys are probably wondering, well, why is that such a big deal and why are you making a video about it? Because aren't video games supposed to be fun to begin with? Well, yeah, you're right about that. But let me tell you something right now. When it comes down to the Call of Duty franchise, if you've been there since day one, and what I mean by day one, I'm talking about games like Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, World at War, those type of games, right? They used to be a lot more fun than the games that have been coming out in the most recent years. Now, I'm not saying that entirely just based off of nostalgia, not gonna lie, maybe it's a little bit of it, but to be honest, a few days ago, I logged onto my PS3 myself, and I decided to play games like Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1, you know, just to kind of go back down memory lane. But when I played those games and played a few matches, I was having way more fun playing those games and those matches versus, you know, something like Black Ops 4 nowadays, where every single lobby is super sweaty and it feels like I'm playing against like esport players or something. Well, not really, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? Like, it's not casual anymore. It's not as laid back as it used to be. On top of that, you know, when it comes to these past few Call of Duty titles, things such as kill streaks, perks, weapons, they aren't as fun to use and interact with versus, you know, the weapons, the streaks and the perks from past games. Now, once again, I'm not saying this entirely just based off of nostalgia. I'm saying this because it's simply a fact. Because when you look at past Call of Duty titles, they never really worried about balancing those perks, those weapons, those streaks out as much as they do nowadays. I mean, take a look at games like Infinite Warfare, World War II, even Black Ops 4, and take the streaks from those games and compare it with streaks from games such as Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, believe it or not, even Modern Warfare 3. I honestly feel like that when it comes down to Modern Warfare 3, it was the last Call of Duty game to at least have some decent streaks in the game. After that, it just sort of started going downhill. And I have no idea why, because when it comes down to the Call of Duty franchise, and I've said this so many times, like I'm talking about like every single time I talk about this topic, this is what I say, but it's so true. Call of Duty and its multiplayer has one feature that I haven't really seen other games have, and that is a proper kill streak or score streak system. And if that's what your game is mostly known for, and that's what people People enjoy going after in your lobbies and all that kind of stuff, why make it weaker as the years go on? Why not keep making powerful streaks? Why are you making them underwhelming and costing way too much than what they're worth for? So, I mean, when it comes down to Modern Warfare at least, and I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2019, the streaks actually look really decent in comparison to these past few years of games that we've seen in the Call of Duty franchise. So, that's a good start. And the reason why I brought up the idea of, you know, balancing and perks and weapons and all that kind of stuff is because, like I said earlier, the multiplayer director himself from Infinity War talked about how they want to bring that fun back into Modern Warfare, but he also went ahead and said that he himself acknowledges that these past few games for Call of Duty has been focusing way too much on balancing, which has caused the fun to be sucked out of these games, and they don't want that to happen with Modern Warfare. Now, that to me personally is a very big deal because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but whenever these developers make decisions that the community either doesn't really like or completely despises, they pretend like it never happened or it doesn't even exist, as if they're super oblivious to what's going on, right? And I see what they're doing. The reason why they do that is because they don't want to attract any more hate than they're already getting for those decisions. I mean, who knows? What if some decisions that we already hate right now are also hated by a few people back at the studio, but they just don't have the power to stop those things from happening, such as the terrible microtransaction systems that we see in Black Ops 4, where the tiers are just filled with stickers and the reserves are filled with weapons that we personally want and you can't get the item that you specifically want without having to go through a lot of gameplay time or having to spend a lot of money. You know, like, we never know what's going on back at the studios at Infinity War, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, etc. But the point is, this is the first time that I personally have heard in a very long time where a developer from a studio such as Infinity War, who has been working on a very well-known franchise in the video game world known as Call of Duty, has come out and actually 
actually have said the same exact thing that the fans have been saying for the past few years. That to me is a huge improvement and the step in the right direction. Acknowledging a problem that has been there and that needs to be fixed. And that is to stop making everything so balanced. I mean, don't get me wrong. We still need to have some sort of balance when it comes to these games. Like we don't want it to be too chaotic, such as Modern Warfare 2, where we have like one man army and unlimited noob tubes and stuff like that. No, that's not what I'm saying, but it can't be super strict either like World War 2 or Black Ops 4, where it seems like that the game is made just for competitive play, even in the public matches. No, that's what league play is for. That's what, you know, these separate game modes are for. And I don't know if Modern Warfare is going to have something along the lines of league play and if it's going to be available anytime sooner than what Black Ops 4 offered to its fans after the launch of that game. I don't know. But the fact that this is the mentality that they're carrying from the beginning of the game's development, this is awesome news for us casual players. And like I said, I'm glad that they're, you know, putting this out there from the beginning because whenever you try to make a game, I believe that the way that the game is made and the vibe that players get from the game from the start is how the game is going to play out for the rest of its life cycle. So as an example, when it comes to Black Ops 4, I personally got the vibe that this is a very competitive, sweaty game. You know, when it comes down to the fast movement, the high jumps that you can make to self-healing yourself with stim shots. Yeah, the game gave me and a lot of other players a very sweaty type of vibe or, you know, a competitive type of vibe. But when it comes down to games like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, they were very casual, laid back. And guess what? That's exactly how those games ended up playing out for the rest of their life cycle. On top of all of this, what makes this whole thing even more cool is that the multiplayer director who said this himself is the same person that has worked on games such as Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, which were deemed as one of the most fun Call of Duty titles in the entire franchise's history by a lot of longtime fans, including myself. Those games were very enjoyable and honestly hold a very special place in my heart when it comes down to me being a Call of Duty fan. And the fact that this is the person that said that he wants to make the game more fun than anything else, that excites me even more. Now, here's the thing. Even though they're saying all of this, I'm not really sure if I want to go ahead and say that Call of Duty is kind of going back to its roots because we've been saying that so many times these past few years. But deep down, maybe this could be the start of that. Notice what I said, the start of bringing Call of Duty back to its roots. Because this game alone will not save Call of Duty. Let me just put that out there right now. As good as Modern Warfare can possibly be, let's just say that even if the microtransactions aren't as bad as Black Ops 4 and are somewhat generous, I personally think that it's still not going to be enough. This ideology that they're carrying within their heads on Infinity Ward, which is to make the game fun and not too balanced and not too strict. This is the kind of mentality that needs to be carried on for a few more years, you know? Like when Call of Duty releases its next title with Treyarch in 2020, this same mentality should be there. The streaks should be fun to use. The weapons should be fun to use. The game that comes out even after that, the same thing goes. We need a continuous couple of years, maybe even longer, of these games to come out that share this idea and also keep fans interested as well as satisfied because at the end of the day, the the damage that Call of Duty has done with its microtransaction systems or just the way that the game plays in general have turned off fans so much that believe it or not, even in my comment section, people are telling me how they're very iffy about buying Modern Warfare, seeing what Call of Duty has done in the past few years, especially with Black Ops 4. And I don't blame you guys at all, right? I really don't. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and say that Modern Warfare is going to be the game that saves Call of Duty. I want to sit back and wait for a few months after this game comes out to, you know, reserve my judgment on that. But I do feel like that with the way things are going as of right now, keywords as of right now, based off of gameplay and based off of game design, that we are heading towards the right direction. I don't know how it's going to be like after the game comes out. Let me just make that 100% clear. And if it does end up going south and it does end up making poor decisions where microtransactions are egregious and stuff like that. Believe me, when it comes to stuff like that, I will voice my opinion. I'm not going to sit behind the mic and yell or cuss at them or anything like that. You know, that's just ridiculous. Of course, I will give my feedback through constructive criticism, but the point is I'm not going to cover up their poor decisions and pretend like that everything they're doing is great over there if they're really not. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, you guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and how you guys feel about hearing that the multiplayer director himself wants to focus on having fun when it comes to modern warfare versus making it competitive or way too balanced or anything like that. I would love to get your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys want to go ahead and share them. And if you've been a long time Call of Duty fan, I would also like to know what is your favorite Call of Duty title from the past and why. Me personally, it's a tie between Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 
simply because the streaks in those games are amazing. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon so you'll never miss an upload, and follow me on my social media accounts to stay connected. Links will always be in the description below, and I will go ahead and talk to you guys in the next one. So take care of yourselves, and bye.